Going over stages. Yeah, I think a lot of people will just strike to Dreamland. Yeah, probably. probably. I think no. Ganondorf, uh, my favorite thing about him is his movement. He has some pretty fun movement. You get it going well. With like his jump heights and stuff? Yeah, like his yeah. Uh, instant double jump to perfect land on Dreamland platforms. That one's pretty good. It's like the same as Link. Nice. Uh, and he has a lot of like, you know, good pivot stuff too. Oh, yeah. His pivot's pretty slidey. I like to like pivot off the stage and then instantly double jump and he like perfect land on the side platform. It's pretty fast. Nice. It's sort of like uh, Donkey Kong. I think in that regard where you can you know you're a big slow heavy character but you can kind of use your movement right to go deceptively fast yeah yeah I like that wonder what they're doing right now all this just to go to dreamland yeah yeah when I played in these tournaments I would always just offer people to strike to dreamland and usually they would So yeah, MTW using the Japanese box. For those of you that don't know about version differences, the main thing is that uh, Fox's up B has some invincibility right before he takes off and it hits sideways. His down tilt is a lot weaker and his down smash hits them upwards for some reason. So you probably won't see MT using down smash unless he does it by accident. Can you, can you use it to like start or continue combos? It's so slow that it's like not a really, really niche okay. thing. It's definitely not like worth using if you're trying to win. I mean, just the up B change is worth it in a lot of matchups. Yeah, and like the the down tilt as well. It's a lot weaker, but it's not always all that bad because it means you can combo off of it for a lot longer. Right. It's like okay, it's it's worth at zero, but at most other percents, it's gonna you know be still pretty good. Yeah, so if you're fighting like Mario, for instance, you can always like combo off of a down tilt if your edge guarding is up B. Mm. Which is different from like U Fox, where like once Mario's at 100, if you down tilt them, you're not going to get anything else. Off right. Of it. So in some situations, it can be better, and in some, it's worse. Yeah, Sianis, I, I totally agree that that's a thing. Like, he's going J Fox to, to mess with people's heads because like they're going to, people are going to go out and try and edge guard him. Oh, they're so down smoke. Yeah. People are going to go out and try and edge guard him and, and not realize about the iframes. Something I'm not sure about is the down smash might actually break Yoshi's armor earlier than the North American Fox. Interesting. Moves that hit oh, up often have smash. like extra knockback on them. And uh, Fox's down smash is pretty weak to compensate for that low angle it has. But wow, MT is uh, oh. going pretty crazy here. Definitely the Japanese Fox can mess up with your uh, edge guard timing, especially if you're not used to that parry. Yeah, timing. like, I like nice someone going J Fox against like a Pika or something that, you know, a character that is used to like taking advantage of like edge guarding him and hitting him off stage. The, the iframes definitely mess them up. Yeah, and if you watch like really good Japanese Pikachu's, like you can see that it ultimately doesn't amount to much for Fox when when you know about it. When you when know about it, yeah. <laughs> playing with it, but if you're just throwing it at someone who doesn't have that experience, you can definitely like, we might see it save him a few times. Wait, he had, Fox has a little he has a little quote at the end there. Yeah, he does. He says "mission complete" in Japanese. Yeah, that that's is awesome. From the, Japanese version, but oh. they removed him uh, saying anything in the North American release. Boo. Speak English or anything. Uh, no, Comical Land isn't because of the J Yoshi armor, because he's not using J Yoshi, he's just using North American Yoshi. Yeah. But it, it would make a lot of sense for J. Fox down smash to have more knockback because it hits people upwards and it doesn't hit them at that crazy semi spike angle, which is the kind of angle you'd want to make it have weaker knockback on. Dude, J Yoshi like, armor is so sad. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> it's like any any nair at like sixty percent just breaks it. A fox down tilt at like forty something. Yeah. I used that in the uh, trailer because I thought it was funny. 
I mean, Fox, like, North American Fox's down tilt breaks North American Yoshi's armor at, like, 40-something as well. Really? I didn't know. Crazy that was, early. I didn't think it was that early. Maybe maybe more, like, in the 50s, but it is, like, it is early. unexpectedly low, yeah. Yeah. And that's, like, goes back to what I was saying. In any vertical move, it's going to have more knockback, and that's all Yoshi's armor cares about is knockback. Yeah. So if you have a really strong vertical kill move, it's going to destroy Yoshi armor. Oh, the sneaky dino. Gets away with it. Gets away with it. Empty was looking pretty good in that first game, though. He's a really strong player, and it's going to take a lot from uh, Eldritch to get around that. He's, like, pretty fast. He knows what he's doing. He plays quite a lot of Fox in uh, friendlies, from what I understand. But generally in tournaments, he just goes all Samus. Interesting choice there to not really contest Yoshi's double jump armor. He's just content to like, give it away. Wow! The pivot ledge hog from Fox. That's not easy to do. It's like a lot harder than something like Falcon. You have to know that spacing pretty well. Oh no! Uh, that's really unfortunate. Interesting. <laughs> Crazy dumb be there. <laughs> Jeez, MG's going for shine combos. You can see the confidence. He knows he's got this. It's pretty hard for Yoshi to come back in this situation. Yeah. Aww. He goes for the up air turnaround break. That would have been so good. Oh no. <laughs> Eldritch just wants to take one stock. There it is. Gets him with the chunky back air. Oh, he lost his jump there, but he just barely made it to the ledge. I'm sure what MT's trying to do here. He looks like he's looking for something, like for a sit up air maybe. Up tilt, that's no jump for Yoshi, but he makes it back with the down air. He can't keep getting away with it! I had a feeling that one was coming. MD is just going for some crazy stuff, but Yoshi finally lost his jump. <laughs> he, he was definitely looking for some kind of like weird setup there. Go home and be a family man.